Hey everyone, today I have some pretty crazy news about a really freaky wasp species that was recently discovered in the Amazon rainforest. The research was conducted by uh, professors from the University of Turku in Finland, along with their peers from Colombia, Venezuela, and Spain, and they were all doing field work in the South American jungles. The particular region that they were in, in the western Amazonian lowlands near the Andes Mountains, is known for its extreme biodiversity. One such genus that lives here is the Clistopyga, which is a clade of giant parasitoid wasps. Now, in the course of their observations, the researchers discovered no less than seven new species belonging to the Clistopyga genus. These include the Clistopyga crassicaudata, the Isaiea, the Kalima, the Nigroventris, the Pankai, the Splendida, and the Clistopyga terranea. All of these wasps are really large, and they look terrifying, with long, swollen bodies, long, spindly legs, and heavy-duty stingers. One of the Finnish researchers involved is Professor in Biodiversity Research Ilari Saksivari. He made a comment about one of the newly discovered species in particular, the Clistopyga crassicaudata. The titanic stinger on this wasp, he says, is, quote, not only long, but also very wide, in comparison with the size of the species. I have studied tropical parasitoid wasps for a long time, but I have never seen anything like it. The stinger looks like a fierce weapon, unquote. Saksiarvi explains some background about these parasitoid wasps, saying, and I quote, all female wasps, such as bees and hornets, have a stinger for injecting venom or laying eggs. The parasitoid wasps usually have a long ovipositor for laying eggs, which is handy for reaching the host animals living inside a tree, for instance. With the ovipositor, the egg is placed either on or inside the host, and, as it also works as a stinger, the female wasp can inject venom into the host in order to paralyze it. Unquote. So these parasitoid wasps are pretty hardcore, and this newly discovered one is uh, probably the most beastly that this guy has ever found. I mean, these wasps literally find a particular species of spider, something suitable to be a host for their young, and then they just stab it with their stinger to inject a little bit of paralyzing venom. So the spider isn't dead. It gets to watch with helpless terror as the parasitoid wasp moves in and lays its eggs inside of its body. After the wasp eggs hatch, they literally consume the spider's body for food, so the living, egg-carrying host gets eaten from the inside out. Saksiarvi continued to describe the wasps and their reproductive style, and he says that they're still largely mysterious. He explains that we don't really understand every use that the wasp has for its oversized ovipositor slash stinger, but he notes that it is, quote, very likely a highly sophisticated tool, unquote. He says this while referencing another wasp species that he studied uh, earlier in his career, which he said, quote, could use its stinger as an intricate felting needle and handily close the spider's web nest, trapping the paralyzed inhabitant within. Unquote. If you haven't gotten the hint yet, these parasitoid wasps are, <laughs> they're insanely metal. They straight up hijack the body of a living spider to use it as an incubator for their eggs and as baby food when the eggs hatch. The spider probably isn't too enthusiastic about this whole ordeal, and just imagining what it's like to be that spider is like something out of a Ridley Scott movie. Professor Saksiarvi points out that this extreme, brutal nature of the wasp is actually really good for conservation efforts. He said, quote, The new species, unknown to science, also help in conserving the endangered rainforests. Beautiful and exciting species with strange habits catch people's attention and highlight the importance of maintaining vulnerable ecosystems. Unquote.